the sunshine and the rain. I just want to touch the sky. What's up guys, it's your girl Danny. I am back with a video and today as you can see we is making some salmon croquettes, okay? And if you like me, you spoiled. So, you know, I call my mamas and aunties like, can you make this for me? But I've learned how to make everything on my own now. So, but it's my birthday week and my mama said, hey, pull up. I got you. Bring the stuff I'm cooking. So, as you see right now, she's breaking down the fish, breaking the bones, getting them up out of there. You want to make sure you get all the bones up out of it. You do not want to be choking while you eat your salmon croquettes. That is a no-no. Okay, so take your time and go through this. Take your time. Don't rush. It is only going to take about five minutes. Make sure all that is out of there. You see how she going through that piece by piece, okay? Okay, and once you finish that, you're going to start seasoning. You can use Old Bay or seasoning salt. Today we used Old Bay because that's what we was feeling. You know, do what you feel like. But yes, a little bit of Old Bay. Then you're going to add one egg, okay? That's all you really need. It's going to help hold it together, one egg okay put some onions in there and if you got green peppers or sweet peppers those are great additions as well okay i like a lot of onions give me a lot of onions you see your travel like, oh look at it uh. i just love slow mo y'all it just makes stuff look so theatrical i don't know just me okay now she's added some black pepper okay make sure you put you a little bit of black pepper you got to have some flour Okay, put it on the side to start. You don't need to put it in there yet. Put it on the side. But what you want to do is take a little bit of that flour and you're going to mix it into that mix. You're going to roll this mix up like hamburger, okay? You see she got her glove on, okay? Putting a little flour into the mix, just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like a handful of flour to mix it in. It's going to help hold it together. You're not going to put all the flour in there. You're going to start making patties like hamburgers. You see that? You see them two patties over there? She's making a third. You want to make little patties, almost like burgers, okay? Take your time with it. Don't rush. You know, anything good takes time. Make them patties nice and round. You know what I'm saying? Make love to it. You know how you do? Then you're going to roll it in flour, and you're going to put it in your hot grease, Okay? Roll the patties in flour and drop it in the grease. Okay. Now, when you put it in the grease, you're going to see a sizzle, 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 sizzle. A good rule of thumb is to flip it once you see the bottom part turning golden brown. Okay. When it's golden brown, you're going to flip. You see how that's golden right there? Perfection. Okay. Name a patty that look better than that. <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> Anyways, golden brown kind of like hash browns, okay? So just remember that, golden brown kind of like hash browns, period. Bars. Anyway, yep. So they was cooking about seven or eight minutes, you know, before they got to that color. But depending on your stove and settings, you got to just pay attention. Okay, so now we're going to flip those and cook that side until it's golden brown as well. Okay? Oh, they looking so good already. Look at them. Mm, mm, mm. Praise the Lord. Okay, so now we're going to wait for those to cook. This is how they're looking so far. It's been a few minutes, okay? You see that? Look at it. Mm -hmm. And make sure you're using some fresh grease, y'all. Don't be using no old grease. It got to use some fresh grease. Look at that. Beautiful. Golden. Brown. Look at them. If they do not look like this, you're doing something wrong. Now, once the other side brown, you're going to pull it out, and this is what they're going to look like, Okay? Little patties, little patties. That's what they're going to look like. The one on the bottom look like a ball, but it's a patty. It's just the way the camera angled. Okay, you see me digging in and trying to do a taste test. And you always can serve it up with some good old white rice with some salt and pepper on the rice and butter. Salt, pepper, and um, butter on the rice. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> My first voiceover. Anyways, yes, salmon croquette and white rice is always a good go-to meal. It's quick. It's simple. And if you're from the hood and like a real good, you're going to drop some hot sauce up on that thing. Okay? It is so good. And if you mash these patties up and mix it into the rice, it makes a nice little bowl. Okay? So, go on to make you some salmon croquettes and tell me what you think. Every breath that I take, that's G-O-T. You see the smile on my face.